Miss Crane, uh, what is uh, your full name? John P. Crane. Right. John P. Crane. And uh, counsel, uh, sir? Song Hill. G-E-L-B. G-E-L-B? P. Did you on occasion make a uh, campaign contribution to any body in connection with any election, local, state, or national? Uh, I refuse to answer that question on the grounds that it may tend to in incriminate me. Well, I believe that the uh, uh, press carried a story which was undenied uh, that you had made a campaign contribution of $2,500 to Mr. John Cruz. Do you recall that? Uh, I refuse to answer that question on the ground that it may tend to incriminate me. Uh, I take it the witness persists in his refusal to answer. That's right. Uh, his refusal is noted on the record, and uh, we will turn to the next By question. By the way, may I say one more thing? This witness testified in the grand jury of New York County. He testified without signing a waiver of immunity. He received immunity. This committee hasn't got the power to give him immunity. And that's the reason the witness takes the position he does, because you cannot give him immunity. Uh, this committee uh, is working on information received from sources other than the grand jury. I didn't say that. I and, said uh, immunity. You can't give it to him. This committee is not concerned with his immunity or lack of it under state laws. It's no, no, federal The law. federal sovereignty is different from the state yeah. sovereignty, as you well know, Mr. Gill. Leaving behind us, any money you might have given to Mr. Cruz for any purpose whatsoever. Can you, and without any regard to any money given to Mr. Cruz, can you state to the committee whether you ever received from the funds of your union any other monies during the years 1946 and 1947? I refuse to answer on the ground that it may tend to incriminate me. Well, during the year 1947, when there was no election of, for any federal office that I can think of, did you receive sums of money from the Treasury of your union? I refuse to answer on the grounds that it may tend to incriminate me. Do you know Mr. James Moran? Yes, sir, I know Mr. James Moran. How long have you known him? I've known him since he was appointed the uh, first deputy fire commissioner. Now, did you, on a number of occasions in the year 1949, withdraw money from the treasury of your union? I refuse to answer on the ground that may tend to incriminate me. And did you in did you order the witness? I ordered the witness now to answer that question. And did you in the year 1949 turn over any sums of money to Mr. Moran? <laughs> I must refuse to answer on the grounds that may tend to incriminate me.